So I just had a thought just then, um, but I don't think it could be the case. I don't know why it couldn't be, but it just feels asinine. So, obviously I was going to state this anyway. As you've seen, we're in a valley full of shit. A lot of faith-based objects have just ended up here. That's where I'm looking for, right there. I think. No, that's that other island. I've got to keep going this way. I think that's Fucktown over there. Um, and you kind of just find, yeah, all this cleric shit lying around from people that came in here for, like, what, crusades, perhaps? To help? I don't know what they were here for. Yeah, that's the fucking island, all right. That's the one. It's the one place they haven't gone. There's this one island out here with a slug I'm looking for. Yeah, that's it. We'll we'll deal with you later. You're like end of the game. I'm not fucking dealing with that now. And it just occurred to me, and this feels like pure speculation because well it is. But it just occurred to me. Is there a chance that that's not actually Celine? Well the Black Phantom, yeah, no shit. But like it just occurred to me given there's a thief ring. Maybe it's an imposter, but that seems weird because, well, she knows her brother. In her, yeah, she mentions him by name in dialogue. Um, and you'll understand why I'm thinking this in a second. Because, the dull gold, ar gold armor. So, it's implied a lot of people have come down here. Yeah, that's it. Right ahead. That's the fucking island. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it, we're here. Let's do this. We'll look at that shit in a second. I'm gonna try to lure him out. I can't really afford to miss anymore, can I? I really can't afford to miss. I got a few light arrows just because I've got excess. But yeah, it just occurred to me that that could be a possibility. I highly doubt it. But who knows with this game? Like, a lot of it... Hey, you might have noticed about Dark Souls storytelling, it's very open-ended. You can come up with your own theories and such. Hell, the game wants you to. Not to shit on people like Vardy or anything about, like, people going, well, that's what he said, so that's what I believe. Nothing wrong with that. I've never really watched this stuff, to be honest. I'm one of those fucking weirdos. I don't care about lore enough. But, yeah. Feels like an asinine theory. But you never know with these games. So there's one, yeah. I'm going for that one there because I know I can hit him. Worst comes to worst, we're going to use the rotten. But I got these light arrows, which will travel further. There we go. Hopefully, yep, I'm not poisoned. Cool. There we are, buddy. Yeah, I'm way more prepared for this than usual. Because I've actually got like a plus five weapon and stuff. Yeah, so don't worry. Once I've murked him, we shall look at the gold gold armor. But that's also just showing it's not unique to Celine Vinland. Yeah. I'm guessing... By now, this is probably the final part of Valley. Given I'm at 119. Well, this is making me use my stuff. So I'm assuming this is going to be the boss episode. Yeah, we can't wear this. Dull gold... Dull gold armor that serves as the war gear of high-ranking women in the Highlands. Its heaviness slightly impedes stamina regen. So you get a cool little helmet. You get the gauntlets. And you get the leggings. The uh, progenitor to Gale's boots, I guess. For all you people out there that want to do that. Not shaming, just, uh, just saying. Okay, we're going to go for you. Go on, fuckboy. Man, I feel like I've accidentally geared myself up. Yeah, accidentally. Geared myself up perfectly to fight these guys. Like, big ass shield, big heavy weapon for the, like the one chance I'll get to hit. Yeah. The trauma of fighting these guys urged me to make sure I was going to be prepped to do so. Alright, come on. 
Yeah, I'm heading back, by the way, um, once we're done here. I'm heading back, then we'll do the boss. So I could try to be ballsy and run to the island. Or we could do this, and not be an idiot. That would seem like a clever thing to do. Let's try to line the shot up. <laughs> that's a really cool effect. Oh yeah, that's right, it, it's like a tracking shot, almost. The weird purple aura. Totally forgot about that. I don't think we can poison these guys anyway. Yeah, I called a hunch, given where they live. So I'm just happy there was no black phantom on the island with them. Oh fuck, don't die now, man. Eat shit. I got my big old block. Come on, put them up, show me what you got. When I'm getting balls here, just start quoting back to rise. Back to fly. Back to soar. Back to wall, let the truth be told. Eat shit, the giant depraved. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that kind of rhymed. That almost rhymed by pure accident. Almost. If there's a fifth one, I'm gonna shit my ass. If there's an eliminator in the swamp, I'm gonna shit my ass. <laughs> there's two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. That's one of my favorite two best friend moments. Pat getting fucking owned by eliminators is, um, is fucking amazing. Truly a gift from the gods. Oh, Eliminators are so dumb, I love it. Your fucking horror enemy is a is a fucking slightly larger baboon, basically. Oh, well, not a baboon. What am I saying? Like a monkey of some descript. An ape. Actually, yeah, they're apes, not... They don't have tails, so they couldn't be monkeys, right? Is that how it works? I didn't do biology, so lay off, alright? <laughs> now, is there a wall in front of us? I don't know why I bother asking that question. I think we all knew the answer. So I'd be evacuating right now if it weren't for the fact of I'm gonna go buy that fucking chain armor. I can, yeah, I, I've got the room for it. Alright. Man, I was worried I'd have to accumulate souls and farm for it before coming back here, but... Oh well. Yeah, I would have had close to what? Like, fucking... A hundred thousand? A hundred and ten thousand? Souls. Yeah, if your swamp starts Z fighting, you might want to uh, consult someone about it. I d I'm not a professional, but that seems like a thing you don't want to happen. Oh, phew! Thank Christ, I didn't didn't do that. Yeah, oh, geez, and I'm never going never going to really need them again. Where are the enemies? How? <laughs> okay, man. Whatever you say. Okay, let's buy this. Yep. Chain. Now, we looked at this a while back, but we'll, uh, give it a quick read. Let's just see. Halberds aren't heavy, thankfully. And we've done it. That's everything. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, sure, whatever. Do you have anything else to say, lady? I don't care about the how. You're here to rid us off. No, okay. Yeah, basically. That's why I spent all those fucking souls. Thank you. What a, what a humble... Yeah, what a humble merchant. Thank you for buying my stuff. It'll help keep my child alive. Versus... Oh, he didn't spend enough. I don't know why she changed accent. Just basically because I can't do that, I guess. We'll have a little fashion show once we're at the art zone again. Something no one probably cares about. But I care, damn it! it's my LP. The things I'm doing is like a passion project, someone wants to watch them. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Oh my word. Y'all don't respect me. Nah, that's, that's me having a, that's me having a laugh. So this stuff impedes stamina regen too. Uh, it says it, correct? Yes it does. So, the standard Minus one, minus two, minus one, minus one. Not quite the glue, but yeah. So that's what that looks like. While we're at it. That's what the meat and leggings look like. So you can get some cool fashion out of this, I suppose. I mean, that looks kind of lame, let's be honest. And we're fat as fuck. Alright, the proverbial fireworks factory is right in front of us. And we will be there in about five minutes I'm pretty sure 
um, the eroded demon soul can only make one thing. But, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Death Cloud, which is plague inducing. Well, let me say all empowered. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm aware. I will beware the limits of my own power. Alright, let's get rid of this shit. Holy crap. That was a long fucking chunk of game. Haha, <laughs> you get it, chunk? <laughs> uh, mm. Alright, yeah, I had the uh, sharp parry. Mm, yeah, we'll try it again. The sharp parrying dagger, but, well, you know. Don't really need it, do we? Get rid of those. Get rid of all the armor that I can't wear. And the stuff I can but don't want to wear. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll have to do that fucking fashion show episode sooner or later. So what else did we pick up? We got a duplicate of the thieves. We got a duplicate of the cat. So we got a few duplicate rings. Not that it matters too much. Yeah. Uh, we'll get rid of you. Get, we'll keep those. We'll do my usual. Keep two. That seems about right. Oh, jeez. Why would you need... Uh, why would you need plague uh, resistance? Plague curing shit. Hmm. Weird. Okay. So I'm very excited for this. I've been waiting to come here for this entire time. This entire playthrough has been leading up to this one moment. I'm not even exaggerating. This is actually one of the coolest bosses in the whole game. I was about to say fight. But I don't think that does it justice. We can get two levels. No, we can get one level. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Um... Let's Holy shit. Be grand, so the True. Might be True that. <sighs> I so don't really need more decks. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna level with you. There's a really good weapon I could make from the next boss's soul. But we need 18... Um, actually, wait, it's like 24 strength, I think. All I know is we definitely need 18 dex, magic, and faith. Um, given that's 10 levels... Wait... No, what am I saying? Fuck. No, that's wrong. It's 12 levels. Um, that's not happening in this playthrough. I don't think there's a fucking chance. So, we're not using it. Plus, I feel anyone watching it probably be like, Oh, that's lame. Don't use it. Me. So, we're just gonna do that. Now, I don't really need the arrows, but I got them just cause. Might as well. Alright, well, showtime. At least we can read this. Dirty Colossus Archstone. Archstone of the Demon Dirty Colossus. In a swamp infested with... Yeah, whatever. By poisonous and vile creatures. Lies a filth encrusted valley. The poor journey to this rotten place. To offer their souls. So that they might be freed from their suffering. So. If you thought... This yeah, valley so far was rotten and putrid... Get ready. I'm not even going to say anymore because I can't do it justice. So I'm going to let it speak for itself. Now, I'll just say this is to like kind of preface the boss fight itself. Now, I've harped on this entire playthrough about certain bosses in this game not being hard and having gimmicks instead. And that, in my eyes, makes them far more interesting. This is one of those bosses. Anyone who's played this game, or has a rough idea of souls, knows what's coming up. If you haven't, um, well, it's, thank you for, <laughs> it's gonna sound cheesy. I'm, I'm happy this could be your first time, I suppose. That sounds weird, but... Alright, here we go. Just remember the word mor morality as we go into this. Without me stammering it.
Go forth, Galvinland. May you be unharmed. So no going back. Let's go. Leave us, slayer of demons. This is a sanctuary for the lost and wretched. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please, leave quietly. Okay, so that only works if you leave them alive. Let's do this. So, Maiden Australia. That's not the one I wanted to fight. Okay, he's not fully in. <laughs> oh wait, fuck, there's a lizard here, isn't there? Okay, this is the one that has faint stone. Pure, for the most part. But you fucking dare, lizard. Chunk. So we're not on pure black anymore, I'd like to point that out. On pure white? What the fuck? How do we get to pure white? Oh, because we killed Selene. No oh, shit. Right. So you'll notice down there, there is some shenanigans going on. So, here are those. We got our praying friends. We got Galvinland down there. So, those things in the swamp aren't exactly friendly. And if you push one of these guys in like so, they're gonna swarm. Not as much as I think it was. Yeah. That's what's going on. More corpses are falling in. Neat. I've never even realized that. So maybe I'm taking a bit long to show this, but this isn't much of a boss fight, is it? You're in a valley. Uh, you're in this little extra nook of the Valley of Defilement. And you come across Australia. And Gal Vinland's just down there along this ridge. And this is the fight. This music is legitimately iconic though. Not in, not in like the generic Ubisoft kind of bullshit, this is legitimately like a big deal. There he is, Gal's down there. So these red things are plague babies. Um, depends on how hard you want to read into it, but they could be reanimated aborted fetuses. I'm not even joking. Alright, let's fucking go. So he is Gal. So this is the big brother of Veldstadt. If you couldn't tell. Yep. So I got a bigger shield than him. But as you can see, he almost breaks my fucking block. So he has a lot of fucking poise. To say the least. So there's a few ways you can do this fight. We're doing it one way. Normally Gal will, I'll try to lure him up. He'll sit right up here under the ledge. I'll go to the exact spot. He'll sit right here, hold his shield, and he'll like be a choke point. So you have to kill both of them. Let's just do this to show. So we can totally hurt Australia. Um, if we get close, she will cast Wrath of Gods and such. So I think I know the way we're ending this fight. The way most people do. Oh, so yeah, going into that swamp right now, uh, infested with plague, and the plague babies. There it is, that's rad. Oh, fuck! 
<laughs> That's the first time I've ever actually seen it in this game. I wasn't expecting the hitbox to last that long. Alright. I was hoping we could get a little closer to Australia first. Come on. Come on, Gull. Come on. I want to fucking get you up here. I can't get past you. Alright, well, this sucks. What? I guess it's not over yet. Oh, I guess it is very much not over yet. Alright. Come on, Gull. Let's go. Yep, so we just murked Celine's brother. In local news, fetuses. They hide under the water. You can farm these guys for ephemeral eyes, kind of like the skeleton babies in Dark Souls 1. I guess that is actually the direct comparison now I think of it. There is some pure marrow stone over there. Alright, well, time to run. I don't think the babies will follow us here. Well. So it's up to you in your interpretation. But given how bloody she is, and the fact that all this stuff is in the swamp, makes me wonder where those came from, the babies, so... Alright, well, this is the boss fight. You... You killed him, didn't you? Very well. I can no longer resist you. Do as you like. Take your precious demon soul. And that's a boss fight. Now, the reason I used the word morality right before I walked in here is because, well, was, yeah, there's a lot of conflicting information you get told. Also, yeah, I'm probably, sh uh, I probably shouldn't be doing this. And they look like liquors, actually, don't they? From Resident Evil. Um, like, you get told Australia's bad, but we don't know for certain. Okay, yeah, so I'm noticing they have umbilical cords still, so I'm thinking my theory, my really gross theory, might be apt. Um, I'll let you decide what I'm referring to there, but, hmm. Yeah, so, was Australia bad? She was clearly trying to do good things. Oh boy, this could be a little bad. I'm um, speaking of bad. Oh, there he is. So... That's the question. Is she, like, actually evil? Does becoming a demon mean you're evil, inherently? Or is there, like, some, you know, greater complex to it? Like, how complex is it, actually? Now, I put myself in a problem, because I have to get out of here with these fucking plague babies around me. So, as you saw, we can't move in this fucking thing properly. I don't think I can even get up there. Well, this sucks. Alright, let's try to fucking hoof it. It feels like an abysmal idea. This feels like a terrible idea. Alright, fuck this. Hyper armor! Eat shit, babies! Let me eat my fucking grass. Yeah, so I did this on purpose, too. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was totally on purpose. I'll let you uh, interpret as to what I was trying to do there, um, other than get myself murked. But yeah, um, that kind of brings up the thing where it's like, Freak was talking about how she's basically ascended, almost. She's evolved. Like, she's no longer human. She's taken on the demon soul... Yeah, presumably to do good, or what she views as good. And yeah, as consequence, 
this shit. Now I'd like to get my salt back, hopefully without dying. So the main thing is, you want to try to knock these guys in, so they go for the bait. That is, that is um, with using a bear for instance. Yeah, that'd be clever. Okay, so I think we can land down there and grab my salts. Ah, uh, meanwhile, we got the lizard to fucking get. Hey, if I lose to 60,000, let's be honest, I can fucking farm it up and fight in 1-3 again. I really don't mind. I would like him, though. That would be nice, because I could level on screen instead of forcing myself not to. Yeah, so these guys will just kind of sit here and pray the whole fight, too. But yeah, you can see why I was hesitant to call it a fight, so to speak. Where the fuck are my souls? How fucked am I? They are right below us. I am excited for this. Yeah, so getting the items isn't really worth it, is it now? Oh boy, this is this is this is fucking abysmal. This is a bad idea. I shouldn't have done this. I'm putting you guys through it too now. Great. Excuse me? Right there, buddy. Oh, I'll fucking adopt you, alright. Get in. So you don't get a lot for it, do you? And to my understanding, they are infinite. As you might be seeing right now. Yeah, so... Swamp full of plague babies. They just keep coming. Yep. Yep. So the main problem is they'll dart in front of you and corner it trap like they did earlier. So if anything, I'll grab that stuff off. Um, yeah, you know, later on and not kill myself again. <laughs> I'd prefer not have to do that again because that was a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, also corpses of priests. So yeah, that's um, another demon down. In the most literal and loosest sense possible. Maiden, I've been through some shit. I don't know if you know, but... Yeah, okay, she's got nothing new to say. Okay, well... Question becometh. What to get it? Boring. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of the game. Let's not fuck around. I want to make this last episode actually watchable. This last session. I mean... I've got to take out the dragon too. I said I was going to, so I'm fucking going to. Hell, there's that blue dragon too. Who just kind of fucks Sorry. off. You, have, you remember that dragon who was just kind of lazing about in 1-4? Sorry, in 1-1. Um, in one, one. He hasn't shown up again. Maybe we have to deal with him eventually. So yeah, I can totally uh, do that later. So the eroded and the pure blood. We are in. There we go. I won't bother going through how to do the glitch again. I've said it enough. I'm sure it's fucking irritating by now. Uh, but there's a lot of cool stuff to make. Thank you, Nexial Binding. Doing business. We are really weird nitpick, but boy. It, it's really bizarre thing to say. I watch a lot of Pokemon videos. Like, um, competitive videos and all that. And I don't love the phrase, but I'm getting... I've had my fill of hearing the word doing work. Sorry, the phrase doing work. I've um I've I've heard it enough. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I, I like Barry's version, doing business. Because he's British and all that. So let's just have a quick look at this. He's English, I should say rather. Anyway, unlike me, ill spoken Australian in my convict um Convict, um, the convict's English, I guess we'll phrase it as. Yeah, fucking, yeah, nah, she'll be right. Resurrection, eh? A miracle from the demon made in Australia's soul. Returns any phantom Nivercaster back to their own world, granting them their living body. 
This miracle is a countersign of a corrupted former six straight. Fuck. Six Saint Astraea. So I don't know if we can even use this properly. Maybe we can cast it anyway. God so that's every. Um, that's all of them. By the resurrection. Is this the one? I think I think I chose the right one. So that's everything. That's all the miracles in the game. Yeah, so I can't even use it. So the um the problem is with that. Now, as I said, I haven't PV um well, sorry, I PvP'd once, as you saw, ever. That was my first PvP encounter in this whole fucking game. I have never co-opted. The problem with that um, miracle is the person you're dealing with might not want you to do that. They might simply want to just help you co-op. They're there for the souls, and, Are you, here for you know, all that stuff. Alright. Sorry, wrong thing. Now, what do you teach us again? Relief from the pure blood demon soul. Spell from Astraea's soul. Fully recovers another by touching them. Though Astraea is the most impure demon of all, her works are equal to those of divine beings. So I want to know if we can use that. Because I don't remember... Uh, well, I should have been looking. Okay, cool. Can actually. Now, Freak has one or two things for us. Um, I say that, but it's, I know it's two. So, relief. So that's like um, a different spell we're going to be getting from King Alant himself. You just repurpose animation, I suppose. So Acid Cloud. So sorry, I was right. Def, I, I was wrong. Death Cloud. I was even wrong about being wrong. <laughs> Death Cloud is Australia. Acid Cloud is Dirty Colossus. Generates a cloud of acid which corrodes equipment and weapons. So it's the thing they've tried in all the games, and it's been fine, I guess. Um. Yeah, it generates a cloud of plague. It is natural for those who take in all that is impure are themselves the most impure of all. I've got to head back to Valley one more time, actually. I've got to, like, exit and change up some stuff. So let's see. Acid and Death. We'll have a look at that. Yeah, that's some fucking metal stuff. Death Cloud. That's the name of my band. <laughs> but I don't have, because I'm not a musician, sadly. So that's Acid. Death Cloud. You can see a bit of a difference, can't you? Death Cloud is a ridiculously good name for a you band, though, I think. That, that's got to be taken, right? There has to be a band named Death Cloud. That's so... That feels so on point for a metal band. Alright, Fireball. Alright, so the problem is, we've got to go back to Valley for one more thing. I've also got to go see Ed. Um... I guess we're seeing Ed first. Um, I'm just gonna stop here, and then I'll, I'll, you know, start a second recording, I suppose. But for Australia's last gift to us, we're gonna require a broken sword. So I will see you at Ed's, and then back in the valley on pure white. <laughs>